Now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hook up. Get ready for more of the best fishing information and the hottest tips on improving your angling skills. Let's Talk Hook Up is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hook Up. Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. And by Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. And now, Southern California's sports fishing voice, the hosts of Let's Talk Hook Up, Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back, hour number two. Let's talk hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here. Rock Rick Max is out of town. But here at Encinitas Ford, corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real for our very first San Diego County Ford dealers live broadcast of the season, giving away tons of great prizes, still plenty to give away, and still your chance to qualify for those two incredible grand prizes. The trip for one to Cedros Kayak Fishing on Cedros Island and a Hobie Mirage Drive kayak from Fastlane Kayaks. That's about a $4,000 package. And then a trip for two to Palmas de Cortez and Baja's East Cape, including two days of fishing and round-trip ticket on Alaska Airlines, San Diego to Los Cabos. Uh, going to be great. We're going to draw the qualifiers uh, at the end of the show today. One qualifier from the random draw and one that will win the casting contest will be the first two qualifiers for those great trips along with all the other great stuff like the trip on the blackjack. And, of course, we're giving away a half-day fishing for two on the daily double, the Point Lomba Sport Fishing, plus tackle rental to a caller, and the Byron Bay, the brand-new Maui Jim sunglass here uh, with the Marlin frame and the neutral gray lens, courtesy of Maui Jim, to step up to the mics. Uh, all you need to do is just come on down to Encinitas Ford and win. It's, uh, it's pretty easy to win because there's a lot of prizes to give away. And, Marks, you can win, too, by uh, leasing. A, I still can't get over that lease for one ninety nine. That's just too much. It is. Yeah. And Plus I, three I, years free maintenance for Let's Talk Hook Up. That means you need to get down here and take a look at what we've got and, yeah. and be ready. So come in, come in this weekend. We'll get you all set up so we can uh, take advantage of that 199. It starts on Friday, but we'll have your vehicle reserved and ready to go and um, in advance. In, in advance, yeah. to get ready to go. All right, time for the catch report today. This report is sponsored by Scorpion for- Sport Fishing, featuring two of the best boats in the East Cape, the 35-foot Cabo Yachts El Regalo and the 26-foot Twin Outboard Center Console, the only one I know of in the East Cape, the Scorpion. They also offer beach fishing, too, on quads, which is really cool. The professionals at Scorpion Sport Fishing are equipped and determined to make your fishing dreams come true. All of the tackles included. Check scorpionsportfishing.com for the finest charters in the East Cape. And fish are biting down there, so get on it and, and, and book Scorpion Sport Fishing. You will not be sorry. Let's start with our private boater buddy, our fishdope.com report. Captain Mark Wish from Pacific Edge. Good morning, Mark. Hey, good morning, Pete and Mark and Ken. Hello, so, Mark. So, uh, what a treat, guys, to have some bright sun and calm seas this morning. God, we've had a tough stretch of weather for sure, yeah. but sure is nice now in Bozewall for uh, everybody getting out and about this weekend. Here on the outside, no reports this week from Nick or SBI, but that'll change. There's boats there now. Uh, at Catalina Island, slowly recovering from... Uh, from all that wind, there's still some squid to be had, mostly uh, a couple different areas, actually, uh, backside east there off the Vs, and then the better fishing has been uh, up off Ben Weston. Unfortunately, you can catch your squid in there, but no fishing that's in the closure up there. Uh, quite a bit of that small to mid-range yellow still around, biting up west, mostly uh, backside middle, backside west is best there. Uh, bigger fish are on the bait grounds down off the Vs there, 16 to 22 fathoms. Yellows and sea bass both in that area there. Some big sea bass have been caught here recently. Um, in these next few days, guys, these next few days are the best of the month for sea bass fishing. So if you can get out, now it's time to go with this better weather here. Take advantage of San Clemente Island. Good fishing. That better weather has made a huge difference. Let the guys get busy up the backside where quite a bit of that fish is hanging out. There's some good schools in the cove there, some on structure, some sonar fish out there in deeper water that they're finding. And then uh, they're working up the back from the windmill. The eel is where the better fishing has been out there outside the kelp lines there, 16, 18 fathoms like that. And uh, there's also a little bit of sea bass in uh, on the kelp lines 
on that backside. Most of it's telltale, but there is a little bit of that sea bass around. Clemente's looking really good. There's a lot of fish there, and it's with the uh, conditions straightening out, I think we're going to see some big scores. Offshore, that bluefin really suffered with the wind, but the weather's down and the schools are floating back up. Just not biting all that well the last few days. We're seeing plenty of fish. And uh, it's mostly from inside the hidden up to, looks like the area's moved up a little bit to just below the 302. Now there's some guys looking around in there. And yesterday there was a report from a skiff just inside the 182 in U.S. waters with a handful of uh, 20 to 30 pound bluefin in there. So that bodes well. One of my customers went through there this morning. I got a text for him right at daylight. He's a little bit of life, not much signal, 65 degrees and a flat calm. That's the important part. So hopefully that gets rolling in there. But with conditions improving all over the coast here in flat calm weather right now, man, it's time to go. It's, yeah, uh, no it's kidding. It's time to go. And I know I uh, have some good friends over at Catalina today uh, checking things out over there. Uh, sounds like good fishing. And Danny at Fish Dope Hat has been on the pulse of not only the weather, but the ocean conditions and everything like that. Fishdope.com is your source for the best in fishing reports and uh, weather reports and uh, sea surface temperature, the whole deal. 20 bucks off a new membership to fishdope.com. Hook up now, lowercase, no space. And how do we find you, Mark, for the best bait tanks in the world? Oh, man, you guys should come by and see what I just put in my shop yesterday. <laughs> I had to, I have a special side door, and I even had to take the trim off of the door to get this tank in my shop there. It's so Whoa. big, 250 gallons, big boy. But we're, we're in Huntington Beach on the corner of Bolsa Chica and Edinger. Phone numbers at the, at the store is uh, 714-840-4262. The website is PacificEdgeTackle.com, and I'll put some pictures up on, uh, on our Facebook pages there of this big tank here later on tonight. Fantastic, Mark. Appreciate that report, and we will talk to you next Saturday. Okay, you got it. We'll see you guys. Take care. All right. Marcos at C4 Sport Fishing. What's going on, Marcos? Good morning. How are you doing today? Great. Well, we definitely have some nice weather going on here, so hopefully that translates into some more nice fishing. The half-day fishing this week, uh, still some bottom fishing in the morning. The afternoon, doing a bit better on those calico bass when they get out there. Uh, like we talked about before, you know, they're... Yesterday, they kept 17, released 70, so very good fishing in there. And it's been kind of that way since they upped that size limit to 14 inches. We definitely haven't kept as many fish, but still great fishing on there. A little bit of rockfish in the mix in the afternoon. We saw a yellowtail earlier in the week also. Three-quarter day trips fishing offshore down to San Diego, seeing a mix of yellowtail, bonita, and an occasional bluefin. Not nearly the same. They're seeing a lot of fish, but those fish just, just don't want to cooperate. But, I mean... 100 plus yellowtail, some bonito, maybe a chance for bluefin. Can't ask for much more, especially the way the weather is here. So definitely check the website, seaforthlanding.com. Have those half days, the three core days up there, those overnight trips on a tribute going out, also seeing yellowtail, bluefin, and bonito. Lots of options there. Check the website, like I said, seaforthlanding.com. Give us a call at the office, 619 224 3383, or come down and visit us in person. All right, fantastic. Appreciate that report. It's going to bite. It's going to be happening. So get it's on the boat there. this week. Yeah, for sure. Hey, Marcos, appreciate that. We'll talk to you next Saturday. We'll talk to you then. Rick Jensen, Sport Fishing Financial with the Northern Baja Report. What's up, Rick? Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, uh, Mark and Ken. Uh, I've always been a Ford guy, driving Fords forever. My son's got a 15-year-old old Ford truck of mine that's still doing great for him, and I just got a new one myself, so... Good stuff there. And, Ken, as you know, we stopped by for service and uh, probably won't ever put anything on as a wind-on top shot other than what you have there hanging that you guys have put together yourself. Uh, so all good stuff. Good good show and good crew, as usual, with uh, some, of the, some of the top-notch products and services for our fishing community. Thanks, Rick. Hey, thanks, Rick. So, anyway, before, again, that we get the report going, uh, remember today is the CCA barbecue up in Long Beach at the Long Beach Rod and Gun Club. That goes on from 1030 to 3 o'clock. And if you uh, have a chance after the show or you're up in that area and plan on uh, making it out, uh, stop by and say hi and uh, learn what CCA is doing. Have a nice barbecue. Fun for the whole family. So hope to see you there. Up at uh, our... Starting down at Mag Bay, the water still on the cooler side. Lots and lots of sardines down there, so that's the good news. Uh, inside the bay, the fishing for the grouper. Outside, not a whole lot going on with the cooler water, but but the good sardine numbers are nice. Inside the bay, 30 to 60 pound grouper have been around, so decent fishing for that. And more good news in the area is that the government has uh, invested in some aqua farming there for the local pongeros and cooperativa. So. 
It will give them a chance to have another form of income, growing some oysters and uh, clams there rather than fishing in the bay and taking some of the bait there. They probably have some better stuff to do growing the oysters and clams. So that will be good news. Keep those sardines around, keep the bay healthy, and uh, we expect to see some good tarina and dorado flowing through as soon as the water warms up a bit there. Up at uh, Mulahe, be it Concepcion, the, the uh, fishing continues to be strong inside the bay, a little bit windy outside off and on, but the big roosters and snappers have been there in good numbers, so that's a stop I'm going to make on the way down here in a couple weeks, and hopefully that continues there. La Bocana and Bahia Asuncion, uh, lots of wind still in the area, lots of stories about everything but fishing, so it's not really the time of year there, but... Out at Cedrus, where they get some better current, and the home guard yellowtails there. Early in the week, they did have that wind and colder weather, so the bite slowed a bit, but it went back on full speed on Thursday, just right outside of town. There were even some fish taken from shore. The calicos are still around. They're starting to get into free spawn mode again. And the halibut that were biting all winter and spring have slowed a little bit. Some of the commercial guys are running into some sea bass, so we know those are around. And uh, Jeff at Cedros Kayak says there's just tons of chovy and max around, so everything's starting to stack up with bait, and that all sounds really good and uh, is a good staging there. Bay of L.A., hit and miss. Wind's been around, not much reported. San Quentin, wind continues as well. be a problem. There's some barracuda showing outside, so maybe the sea bass will hang with them. A couple of yellowtails taken. Halibut in the bay. Ensenada, improved weather and Got the guys back on the yellowtail. The fish are small there in general school size, but there's a couple bigger fish showing, 15 to 20 pounds as well. And the tournament started, the Pesca Baja started up in San Felipe, so all the boys there are so busy trying to win that tournament. Still haven't heard anything from them, and uh, maybe we'll have a report on that next week. Sounds great, Rick. And, uh, yeah, two weeks from today we'll be broadcasting live from Loreto. And that's going to be great with the Sport Fishing Association of California. I'll be down there, and, and I guess we're going to get a little sampling of the fishing down there. I heard it's really hot on Friday before the show, so that's going to be uh, pretty great. And then Rick's going to jump in, the, uh, in that Ford truck, and uh, I'm going to jump in there with him, and we're going to head for Ranch Arrow for our Let's Talk Hookup Tournament. That's going to be a good time there just two weeks from today. So, Rick, if somebody wants more information in Sport Fishing Financial, wants to have you help them with their finances and uh, just work for a better future. How do we find you? Well, hopefully you're going to be able to make it out to the CCA barbecue today. If you do, say hi in person. Otherwise, you can reach me on the web, sportfishingfinancial.com, or give us a ring at 949-481-1807. All right. Thanks, Rick. Appreciate that report. We'll talk to you next Saturday. See you at the CCA barbecue this afternoon. That is the catch report today, sponsored in part by Gamakatsu Hooks, Japan's leading fish hook. They set the standard for quality and innovation, strength and durability. Local tuna and yellowtail fishing is happening right now. You should make Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hook your go-to hook. It has the strength and durability as well as the right design that makes it easy to hook your bait and put fish on the deck. Get Gamakatsu Nautilus Circle Hooks at your favorite tackle store. And let's go ahead and jump into the phones. We have uh, had no phones uh, action here this morning, but we've got some patient callers. Richard in Monrovia, you're first up on the phones there. Thanks for joining us on Let's Talk Hookup at Encinitas Ford here, Richard. Good morning, Richard. The iWindy reference. The iWindy reference was awesome. Um, that, that app is really cool. Wendy T.Y., um, yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, Mark, two questions for you. Uh, one, I was stuck in the San Ysidro Crossing next to a diesel Ford Ranger. Want to know, four-wheel drive, want to know if that's coming out to the U.S. anytime soon. And two, I have a friend who's looking to buy a car for her 18-year-old son who's very nervous. Any recommendations on used Fords um, in that under $10,000 price range? For a beginning driver. Okay, I, I heard the uh, the Ford Ranger that's uh, been teased by Ford, and it's it's now official. It's going to be a uh, come as 2019, so we're about 18 months out, to maybe 24 months out. Um, going to be an awesome product. I've seen them down. In fact, Diesel was, Ford Ranger, so fish, smaller pickup. Yeah, um, 
As far as diesel, I don't know if they're going to approve that for the states. Uh, we do have diesels in our transits. We have diesels in, we'll have a diesel on our F-150 in about, uh, uh, let's see, first quarter of next year. We have diesels in the 250, 350 to 550. So good chance it'll have a diesel. I was in Panama, actually, with on cast tours at uh, Pesca de Panama, and they had a brand new Ranger out there. It's not exactly the same vehicle, but it's uh, very similar. So we're going to see this vehicle in about 18 to 24 months, and it'll be awesome. And it'll put us back uh, where we've we've missed the Rangers here in San Diego because we sold them by the – they were just great vehicles. Um, And I didn't quite get the price range on the vehicle. $10,000. $10,000. Can you get a a good used car for $10,000? Yeah. uh, The the key to it is a couple of things. You know, you say, well, I can find one of these things for $10,000, but what really is it? You know, where did it come from? Who's – Who's owned it? Who's serviced it? We have all the the data to to pull all that, and also we have our technicians that are that are dedicated just to our used vehicle department that look through all of these vehicles. So, what used to be the five thousand dollar level seemed to have crept up to about the ten thousand dollar level. But you can get a good vehicle for ten thousand dollars if if you're diligent. Um, and my suggestion would be to make sure that even if you find one on the used car market, that you look at it to say, if we have to recondition this, where the, what are the brakes like? What, you know, does it have oil leaks? And is it uh, the serviceability of the vehicle? And who's owned it and where has it been before you make the decision that this is a good buy? And, and we'd be glad to walk you through whether it's on our lot or on someone else's lot or in someone else's driveway as to the value of, of any used vehicle. Wow. Just call your guys. Yeah. Additionally, we buy, uh, you know, we're out in the marketplace, and we buy 50, 60, 70, 80 used vehicles a month. So we're good buyers of used vehicles for any of your listeners out there. They go, you know, I got this car. I don't want it. It's my mother-in-law. There was this. It was whatever it is. We're buying them all the time. So, um, And we'll show you how we get to the market value on them. And, uh, pay you full value for what, whatever you want to sell. I yeah. think that lease for 199 was. Yeah. How do you beat that deal? <laughs> it, you, just, you just don't. Yeah, I you just know? don't. Say, I can't get over that thing. Yeah, yeah for we sure. Were, hey, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Bob from Lakeside. Bob, step up to the mic uh, here at NC Needs Ford. Thanks for coming down. Always good to see you here. <clears throat> How was the casting contest to you? Haven't gone up yet. Oh, you're holding out. Holding out, letting the sun get a little bit higher. There you go. Okay. (laughs) Smart guy. Well, question for Ken. What's the best way to basically protect your reels from the elements, from, like, being on the boat and everything else, and then taking care of your reels once your trip is over with? Okay. Well, your best maintenance for your reel is a reel cover, a reel cover that you can pop over the reel when the reel is on the rod. It and and use it. They work great if you use them. So, um, what we tell the guys is is until you are going to take that reel out of the rack and put it in your hand, leave that reel cover on it, and it sheds um, it sheds so much of the moisture that's everywhere once you're on the salt water. It's in the air. It's coming over the rail. The deck hands are there with the hoses. Um, it's a wet world. So if you keep your reel covered. You're you're knocking you're knocking off a lot of the salt water that's going to get to your reel. After you're done fishing, um, what I do with mine is I just take a spray bottle and spray the reel, knock the salt off of it with fresh water, no other products, just fresh water, and then um, I set it out on a towel, and for the next several days. Uh, Every time I walk by that reel, I pick it up and I turn the handle. If it spins, I spin it. If it levers, I lever it. Because the salt water that gets inside that reel that you can't wash off from the outside, as it dries, um, it's either going to take a set and start grabbing bearings and uh, doing damage, or you can keep that from happening if you continue to turn everything as it dries. Nothing can take a set. So... What about backing off the drag? <clears throat> well, you know, I'll tell you, with wet drags, it's not necessary. Okay. Um, oh. You know, that, that, goes, <laughs> that goes back to our childhood. When oh. we had, when we had uh, crummy drag material, uh-huh. um, with, if you didn't turn the star back off, you were compressing those drags, and they were going to stick. Different material, different generation. 
Um, now with wet drags, you can't, I mean, it doesn't hurt to back your drags off because you aren't compressing anything, but they're not going to stick if they're wet. Okay. Um, so it's so, either way. Yeah. If it's a lever drag reel, um, don't, if you have your lever drag preset already, don't back off. Do not back off your preset to back the drags off. Simply put the clicker on, pull the lever drag, put it, pull the lever back, put it in free spool, put the clicker on. The drag is disengaged. There's, there's, you know, it, one of the things that we see a lot is guys try to back off that knob on their lever drag reel, um, and and they cause more issues doing that. Really? Than, yeah. Okay. They, been doing it wrong. Some of them come off, so the knob goes bouncing, the spring goes flying. Uh, um, okay. But if you if you put it in free spool, if you pull the lever drag or the lever back in free spool, put the clicker on, the drag is completely disengaged. Okay. So there you go. All right. But, Good advice. But keep that thing moving. Keep it moving until it's dry on the inside. The salt, the leftover salt and stuff that do, would be in there doesn't harm anything as long as it, you, have, it, you have movement. It's not gonna. It's, it doesn't do any good. But if the real, if the real. The, the, lub, the lubricants that are in there um, can protect everything inside. Uh, it's the salt water that, as it dries, <clears throat> it's trying to get a grip on everything in that reel and lock it up. So if you continue to move everything <clears throat> until it dries on the inside, a couple days, uh, it. it's what I do to my gear, and I don't ever, believe me, we got enough to do. I don't want to yeah. work on so. <laughs> All right. So, very good. Guys. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Appreciate Tim. it. Good luck in the casting contest there. Appreciate that. Jim uh, from Fallbrook. Jim, step up to that mic. Thanks for joining us here at Encinitas Ford. I was going to ask this to uh, Rick, but he's not here, but I bet Ken can answer it. On the spring or not, do you use that? Uh, I do not personally use it. I, I, I see it. Um, very easy to tie. Yeah. yeah. Very Strong. simple, small. Have you seen that one, Mark? No. Oh, you got to go on the Royal Polaris website, royalpolarissportfishing.com, and just uh, go on their video page and check the springer knot out. It's so easy to tie. It's and simple. John Collins says it's it works. There you go. And John Collins is the man, right? He's the man. John yeah. Collins is the knot man. Yeah. So, yeah. Heavy, heavy line and uh, flat fall, big flat falls, heavy line really works good. Yeah, well, you know, they, uh, those fish eat. <laughs> they don't come up and bite that jig. They yeah, inhale it. Dress it. So, uh, yeah, having some leader, have some heavy yeah. leader around those bluefin teeth is important. Do you have cow sheets grease at your store? Absolutely. Okay, thanks. You hey, the other, thank you very much for coming down to Encinitas Ford. Um, you, have, you, you make your own and sell your own wind-on leaders, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we Ken's have, Custom Reel. Wind ons. Yes. And and you you guys make them individually yourself. One at a time. Not imported. Not. Uh... We make them out of uh, three different uh, uh, fluorocarbon products. Three different manufacturers. We make them from 40 pound through 200 pound. Um, we can custom make them to uh, a specific length, but what we make are 20 foot wind ons. Um, wow. And we serve them, and it's a loop connection for your hollow end or however you want to make your loop. Okay. And, uh, yeah, we uh, – Sell a lot it's, it's, Yeah, and they we have an excellent track record. Yeah. They don't come apart. I mean, apart. they don't come apart? They no, don't come apart. Ask. That's yeah. a good yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. All right. Hey, Tony <coughs> from San Marcos. Saw Tony running around. I thought saw. I think I saw Tony put one in the bucket, too, there. So, Tony, you around? There he is. All right. Good to see you, Tony. How many points, Tony? I only got three today. Only three? That's, who's, not, that's who's, not good enough. Who's leading? I think John is leading with five. Five? Right, Whoa. Whoa. That's a tough score to beat, for sure. Wow. Yeah, good morning. I may have missed this earlier, but my question was for Ken. Ken, how, what is the turnaround time for uh, reels, and is there a better time during the year to bring the reels in for service? Yeah, the, well, right now we're at five weeks. So if we get your reel today, you'll get it back on the 24th of June. Um, throughout this time of the season, we try to tighten up. Uh, after after the Fred Hall shows, we get, we get way backed up. Okay. Um, but... 
there's only two of us, so we can only do so many reels. And uh, through the season, it's you got to figure three to five weeks. Okay. However, when we get to October, November, December, January, when you guys are done fishing, bring them in, and, and uh, we can get them back to you quicker, although you don't need them at that time of year. But uh, if you get them in through that Christmas se- season, um, you'll have them back. You're ready to go when the fish bite. Just put them away, and you know you've got everything. You know, it's I, getting new line and getting real serviced is like getting fresh tires and shocks on your car. You know, there's nothing better in the world than that security of that uh, knowing everything's ready to roll. The other thing is, as we approach February, the Fred Hall shows start the 1st of March. So uh, if you don't get them in by the 1st of February, it could be a couple months before we get them out. So there you go. three, three to right, five weeks, you. three to five weeks throughout the season is pretty standard. Very nice. Anymore. Thank Tony, you. thanks for coming down to Encinitas Ford. All right, hey, we have a very special guy on the phone right now. The head man from CCA National, Pat Murray's on the line. Good morning, Pat. Hey, good morning. Glad to, glad to be on with you. Glad to have you on Let's Talk Hookup, Pat. And uh, it's a pretty exciting day for CCA California today, right? Absolutely. And you know what? It, it's, it's interesting. With CCA California, every day is exciting because it's, it's, a, it's, a it's a new part of CCA, and it's an incredibly exciting one. I, uh, I get the luxury of seeing a lot of chapters uh, through – all the 19 states where, where CCA does business, and this is probably one of the most exciting and fun groups um, that I deal with. The energy and the passion is, is it, well, it's simply inspiring. I mean, it really, really is. Yeah, indeed, no doubt about it. So tell us about the event today. You bet. Um, we're out here in, in Long Beach um, at the Long Beach Rod and Gun Club, 3333 Pacific Avenue. Um, of course, as always, it's a gorgeous day. And uh, and folks need to come out. It's a it's a great event where we have a barbecue, and uh, and raising money for the for the cause that we all care so much about, which is fishing and making sure that uh, we have healthy resources and anglers access to them. And um, so these guys have been working super hard. John Bellotti and his team and Wayne um, have really been busting it, and um, and they put together an amazing event. And uh, I'm excited about it. And 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 the key thing, folks, to remember is when they come out here and support this chapter. They're really part of what makes grassroots so powerful. Um, there's a lot of ways to get involved, and local chapters is really the way to start. Yeah, no doubt about it. Now, I know you live in Texas. Is this a Texas-approved barbecue? Is it going to is it going to ramp up? Oh, Texas I barbecue? love that! I love that. I, I see already a, a, like a barbecue contest brewing. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, this is awesome. They got a they got a bunch of stuff on the pit already, and it's. Uh, you know, we already got smoke going, so that alone tells you it's going to be a winner. So I'm, uh, oh. I'm super okay, excited. Folks Texas really need to, need to make it out here. It's easy to get to, and uh, it's for a great cause. And and like I say, you, you, you're really, when you're getting involved now, you're getting involved as the momentum is really starting to build. And um, yeah. so it's an exciting time for the organization. No kidding. A lot of prizes to give away, a ton of great raffle prizes. And um, how do we get involved? How do we, we can just buy a ticket at the door, right? You betcha. You betcha. You just show up here and we'll get you set up. And, uh, and like I said, too, the neat thing is that when you start to think about you're part of a 40-year tradition. Um, you know, CCA's been around for 40 years, and this is the startup of this piece of it. I know, I know for yep. me, I've, I've, I've worked for the organization for 20 years, and I don't know if I've ever been more excited about a, a new phase of it. And uh, the work that can be done out here and the incredible people that are, that are leading it, uh, it's, like I say, it's inspiring. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Pat. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you at the big barbecue at the Long Beach Rod and Gun Club going on today. What time does it start? Uh, it starts 10, 10 to 10.30, anywhere in that range, and you'll be good. Just come All on right. out. And we'll, I, I look forward to shaking there. your hand. Yeah, for cool. sure. And to support CCA, California, this is uh, our, our, our main hope. And the guys uh, like Pat that have been doing this for a long time can tell you, Story after story about the successes that they've had in other states from CCA. Thanks, Pat, for joining us, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at the barbecue this afternoon. Hey, thanks for all you do. We look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Thanks for the call this morning. Dan from Cardiff is here at Encinitas Ford. Dan, step up to that microphone and have a chance to win that pair of Maui Jim sunglasses there. Thanks for coming down. 
Hey, morning, guys. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have a couple of comments, a couple of questions. Uh, for Ken, first of all, went in your shop, brought in a used newel. You guys souped it up. And how available are those parts for newels these days? Well, they're they're diminishing. Yeah. They haven't made a part. In, uh, and you guys have the only flat falls in town. Yeah, that well, <laughs> <laughs> that comes and goes, you know. Uh, newel hasn't been around or produced a part um, you know, pushing 10 years now. So parts that were out there for years, you know, they've been scooped up. However, uh, drags and variants are never going to be an issue with that reel. So that's the most important part. So That, that was what was lacking, yeah. yeah. You always have those. Yeah, always have those. Aftermarket stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And there's an aftermarket star now. There's an uh, aftermarket handle. There's an aftermarket clamp. So those things that got scooped up right away um, are now available. Uh, so as long as you don't crack a side plate, we can probably keep it going. Oh, it was yeah, it, was, it worked awesome. Thank you. Yeah, cool. All right, thanks for coming down, Anthony. This forward, Captain Frank Lopresti is here right now. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, Mark Wheeler. If she's around there, he uh, is here. Thank you, Frank. He is there. Huh? Um, you know, Mark, you made a remark earlier about that reel not catching enough fish. Do you think it had anything to do with the fishermen? Uh, there, there's a chance, Frank. It's not I, the I thought arrow, it was, it's the Indian. Because I, I, I'm aware of Ken's expertise, and it just seems to me like maybe the fault might be somewhere else. But I couldn't resist that. I thought that was that my role to dish. Yeah. Good morning, right, Frank. Hey, Pete, the, the thing I wanted to let you know is uh, we had a, a couple of cancellations on our June 23rd eight-day trip on the Royal Polaris. There's two openings there on an eight-day, and then there's one opening on an eight-day, uh, August 4th, on the Carnes Brothers trip. So just wanted to get that out there, and I t thank you very much for taking the call. That's huge. And, Frank, you drive an Encinitas Ford. I know an F-150. I see it every morning when I'm walking up to my office. And uh, what do you think of that truck? Oh, I love that truck. That truck is amazing, and I, I put a lot of miles on that truck, believe it or not. And it's, uh, huh? it's a great truck, and the service out of uh, Encinitas Ford is uh, unmatched. Yeah, it's it, it's a good thing. I, you do put a lot of miles on that thing. Well, thanks, Frank. Thank you, A couple Frank. of spots open on the Royal Polaris. Very rare opportunity there. And uh, get on down and uh, check it out for sure uh, at, on the RoyalPolarisSportFishing.com. Thanks, Frank. And when we come back, we're going to take more of your phone calls, more step up to the microphones here, more from Encinitas Ford Live. And we just had a, uh, a little... Uh, uh, opportunity for you to get a discount on a Ford here, too. <laughs> so get on down to Encinitas Ford right here. Let's talk. Hook up. Mighty 1090. To the wars are coming. You can be a part of the battle. This is Captain Dave Marciano from Hard Merchandise and Matt Geo's hit show, Wicked Tuna. This is your opportunity to fish with me, Captain Paul Herbert, or Captain Greg Meyer aboard three of San Diego's top boats. Now, Paul keeps spouting off about how he's going to win, but frankly, I'm more concerned about Greg. He is one heck of a fisherman and could certainly lead his team to victory. The two-day trip departs June 21st and returns on the 23rd for weigh-in. Whether you're fishing or not, plan on joining the captain's reception the evening of Tuesday the 20th at the beautiful Valley High Restaurant in San Diego Bay, where you can meet and greet all of us and talk to her with a bunch of great people and have a chance to win some amazing prizes. It's all about taking kids fishing and supporting the great Captain Rollo's Kids at Sea program. So join me, Captain Gabe Marciano, for a fun evening at the Valley High and go fishing on one of the three top boats with us and catch some tuna. Check CaptainRollo's.org for more information. Spots are going fast. Sign up today. Sport fishing, not just for Dad anymore. At Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, kids fish free every Sunday. Free half-day fishing trip and clinic free for kids 12 and under every Sunday at Dana Wharf. Join the Dana Wharf Kids Club and get over $100 of really cool stuff like two free fishing trips, a free whale watch trip, and more. Dana Wharf, everyone's favorite since 1971. Click DanaWharf.com or visit them in the Dana Point Harbor, the bass capital of the West, and only minutes from the 5 Freeway in Orange County. DanaWharf.com, where kids fish free.
This is Greg Stotesbury from AFCO. For more than 58 years, the American Fishing Tackle Company has been recognized as the premier manufacturer of precision-built offshore fishing tackle. AFCO continues this tradition today with an innovative technical fishing clothing line designed and built by fishermen for fishermen. From our next-generation waterproof shorts like Tactical or Stealth to our new anhydrous waterproof jacket and bibs, the entire AFCO clothing line is purpose-built with the latest AFTEC fabrics and features designed to deliver for the demanding angler. To find AFCO products, go to AFCO.com and find a dealer near you. This is Captain Tim Ekstrom from the long-range vessel Royal Star. With my partners Randy Toussaint and Brian Sims, we have set the bar for the long-range fishing experience. A spring 8-day, summer 5-day, or a fly-down, fly-back 11-day winter trip, we deliver the highest quality long-range voyage you will find. From our premium RSW fish storage to our top-of-the-line chefs and crew, Royal Star distinguishes itself from all others. Want to grab a spot on the Royal Star? Check us out at royalstarsportfishing.com or call Tracy at 619-224-47. 38 years ago, my parents started Fast Lane Sailing Center. They sold catamarans because they wanted to do what they loved and sell what they loved to do. They wanted to share their passion with others, share the stoke. I'm Hayden Lane, and over the last three decades, my parents have shared that passion with thousands of people, my brother, sister, and I among them. We grew up right there at the shop in Dana Landing Marina in Mission Bay, sailing on the bay, fishing off the docks, and later off the Hobie Mirage kayaks. We grew up surrounded by the water. Our shop was filled with tools that Hobie and other brands have made to enjoy on the water. And I use them all. I mean all of them. Wouldn't you? So when you come into the shop, you're not going to hear a salesperson trying to convince you to buy something. You're going to hear us bragging about how much fun we have on these toys and telling you to do the same. We test every product out there, and we only sell the best because we want to use the best. So check out our website at FastLaneKayaking.com or get on down to the shop in Dana Landing and find your next adventure. It's time to get excited about fishing, and Point Loma Sport Fishing has everything you'll need. They offer half-day and three-quarter day trips daily, perfect for families and the novice or seasoned fishermen. Point Loma Sport Fishing also offers overnight to multi-day trips, targeting the best of seasonal catches. Visit their website at pointlomasportfishing.com where you can purchase tickets online and get more information on the trips available or call 619-223-1627. Darren Smith, weekdays at noon on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk. Hook up on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here at Encinitas Ford. Just look for the Mighty 1090 van right on the corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real. Come on and join us. Still have time to get into the drawings and win some great stuff here. Want to thank uh, Grant and Eddie for helping us out on the casting contest, guys. I appreciate your help there. Casting contest still in full swing. And I want to thank, of course, the Cowboy and Tommy P. Uh, giving away a bunch of stuff. You know, you want to go fishing with the legendary Cowboy. Uh, he is going on an eight-day trip on the Independence on the third, a week from today. How about that? And there's still two spots left on that trip. Just They don't have spots left on the Independence. So this is a rare opportunity not only to go on the Independence, but to go fishing with the legendary cowboy on the Independence. So 619-226-6006. Call Judy in the office there. Get on that. We also just found out we have a couple spots left on our Cedro Sport Fishing trip in June. End of June, I'll be going on that uh, trip. Uh, uh, and that's going to be a fun trip. So... Call Rosie at Cedro Sport Fishing, and she'll get you in on that. And I just looked up. We only have four spots left on our Islander kayak fishing trip. You know, Fast Lane, if you don't have a kayak, Fast Lane will rent you and deliver a, a Hobie Mirage Drive kayak for you to use on that trip for a nominal rental fee that can be applied to a purchase at a future date. But if you want to go on that day-and-a-half kayak trip with us on the Islander mid-June, it's on our website, hookup1090.com. Just go to the trips page. Uh, actually, go, go on the shop page, and you can buy it right online on the shop page there, uh, indeed. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones, and let's talk to Chuck uh, calling us. Good morning, Chuck. Hey, how are you guys doing? Hang it in there, Chuck. Yesterday. Hey, let me get you off the quick. Yeah, I was on the field yesterday, and we saw an eagle touchdown right next to the boat. The yeah, was fish right off the water. Wow. Crazy. But I was talking to the deck and I didn't realize how long ago the elbow was over here, and I got in them twice. I ended wow. up with a 50-pounder up north off of uh, Virgin up there. But uh, nice. I want to talk about my Ford. I bought a used one for 800 bucks. I put 398000 when I finally sold it. It was still running. 
<laughs> and I was afraid of the wow. V6s, but I tell you, man, you guys got that down. It was we a do. great truck. They couldn't believe it. The quality and I of the Ford, Ford product is, is just <laughs> awesome. Yeah, why didn't you yeah. go over 400? We could have. I think uh, you. I think you get a round of world trip quick. if you get to four hundred thousand. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I know. I wanted to call for it. <laughs> it's like that thing cool. down to Mexico, you know. But uh, yeah, just a great product. And you know, Cal Sheets. You know, I'm teaching my son Chuck all my ropes of fishing, and I taught him to buy a reel cover every time he buys a reel, and leave it on when those deck hands come around with that big hose. Take it all to you know. Put it back on there when you're out there. But I had a, a question about the new line. When you wash your reels and wash that line off, I had a couple of them get stinky. Was that from putting the cover on too soon? No, it just uh, picks up that salt water, gets musty on that on that on the Spectra line. You know, the Spectra itself is uh, absolutely 100% waterproof. It's the fact that it's uh, a braid. There's pockets in the braid, and that holds uh, the salt water in there but if it smells it's okay that's okay yeah it still doesn't works. hurt anything hey chuck thanks a lot for the phone call this morning harry is here from la jolla good morning harry good morning i was just preempted by two callers the first one well the last one actually relates to the the ford that i was telling mark about i would love to buy a new ford except my ford explorer is still perking along and it's 98 and it's just gone like heck. So no, it, now, come on. It's time for a new one, Harry. Come on. It's still running, and it's doing what it needs to do. <laughs> Nineteen years old. It's, it's time. Yeah? yeah. It's time. You, and, and well, you're going to get me eventually. Yeah. Well, yeah. And we're going to detail it for you because we, you got the detail last last That's year. Right. So we'll get you a detail <laughs> for you. Along the lines of a previous conversation about the threshers and the preservation of the threshers. Yes, sir. Uh, we want to encourage uh, the, our you know, you talked about CCA's event up in uh, Los Angeles. Right. Uh, we want to encourage the fishermen in this area to to join CCA. It's really important that they do that. Um, your CCA money uh, goes towards some very good causes. We just did a an event on um, on Thursday where we were under a special permit to the state of California. We were able to go out and get broodstock for a halibut that have been turned over to a Hubs Institute. So we're looking forward to seeing those halibut produce and ultimately uh, add to the stocks in the ocean. So please join CCA. Thanks, Harry, for coming down. appreciate that very much. Mark, give us a lowdown on some of the deals that you can get. Well, the first thing, uh, you know, it's just wonderful to support uh, Let's Talk Hookup and the fishing community, and we're here to help. So that's why we came up with our three years of maintenance, the Ford ESP Limited Maintenance Program for anything, any new Ford that any of your listeners buy between now and the end of the month. But uh, most important is to take down our website because all of these specials I'm going to read to you will be posted on the website, including how to get here and submit all your stuff online uh, very easily. Uh, So we'll have the $199 leases with zero drive off on the Fusion SE EcoBoost tech package, and we'll also have the Ford Escape SE, 199 bucks a month, zero drive off. You got to pay tax and you got to pay a license fee. You actually only pay 35 monthly payments for 36 months of use. Unbelievable That's deal. That's unbelievable. But here's some other unbelievable deals: 2017 Focus sedans, $4,500 savings from MSRP. Fusion Energy, that's the plug-in, drive it 25 miles under full electric power, and then another 600 miles on gasoline without having to stop, $6,000 in savings from MSRP. 17 Ford Explorers, sports and limiteds, $7,000 savings from MSRP. 17 Edge Sport and Titanium, save $7,000. F-250 Crew Cab 4x4. I'm pretty sure that's a diesel, $8,000 uh, all at this offer. F-150 Crew Cab, 4x4 STX, $9,000 savings. So These are all it, it's Memorial all of, Day, Celathon. All of, uh, they start Friday and go through the Celathon, which ends Monday. And you'll see them all at www.encinitasford.com. we got a what? staff here that's unparalleled in the automobile industry because 
because so, we yeah. handpick them and we make sure yeah. they do what they're supposed to do. It's a team here, and we're going to take care of you. Now, if, if somebody wants to see one of your guys today take a test ride and grab, do they get little preferential treatment because they're here today instead of waiting till Friday? Do Absolutely. they get their pick their car out now yeah. before the rush? Yeah, and that's the deal. And that's that's one of the reasons we moved. We you can't drive it home broadcast. until Friday, right? But you can pick it out and get. Yeah, and there might be a way we can you can drive, but we're going to contract on the, the on Friday. The, gotcha. Friday. All right, very good. All right. Well, when we come back, we're going to wrap things up. Give away a pair of Maui Jim sunglasses and more here from Encinitas Ford. Stay tuned. Let's talk hookup. Mighty ten ninety. Boating season is heating up with Yamaha Outboard Season of Savings Sales Event. For a limited time, purchase an eligible select new 2.5 to 175 horsepower four-stroke outboard and receive up to $750 in dealer credit. That's right, up to $750 in dealer credit with eligible outboards. Reliability starts here. Yamaha. Offer ends June 16, 2017. Subject to change at any time. Other restrictions and conditions apply. See authorized participating Yamaha Outboard dealers for details. This promotion cannot be used with any other Yamaha offer. I got a garage full of fishing tackle, and every time I get out on the water, I realize I forgot something important. But I never forget my life jacket. I make sure my buddies wear theirs, too. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Buying a boat is a big decision, and you don't want to make a costly mistake with the wrong one. This is Pete Giacalone for Cussler Yachts. I've been in the fishing business my whole life. In fact, there are probably many of you out there that have fished with me. Well, now I've taken my boating knowledge and joined the team at Cussler Yachts. Mike Cussler and the rest of our team are true professionals when it comes to finding you the right boat. Just ask Pete Gray. I helped him make the right decision on his new boat after an extensive search, and we can help you find the boat of your dreams. We specialize in sport fishing boats and are the exclusive dealer for Regulator Marine, the finest center consoles on the market. At Cussler Yachts, we know fishing and we know boats, inside and out. We can save you thousands of dollars and get you into the right fishing boat for your needs and budget. Cussler Yachts is located on the waterfront at the beautiful Konakai Resort, and you can check us out on our website at CusslerYachts.com. That's K-U-S-L-E-R Yachts.com. Or give us a call at 1-866-607-5471. Ask for Pete, and let me know you heard about it on Let's Talk Hookup. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, Calstar. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the Calstar West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend Calstar at fine tackle stores everywhere. No matter the fishing conditions, count on the Seaguar family of fluorocarbon leader material to help you catch more fish. Fluoro Premier has a smaller diameter with the highest break strength. Plus, it is super soft. When bites are tough, tie on Fluoro Premier. Blue label is tough as nails with incredible abrasion resistance and impact strength. And new pink label is the choice for tough light conditions, giving you a little more visibility for better line control. Pick up a spool of Seaguar at your favorite tackle dealer or visit Seaguard.com. All right, welcome back to Let's Talk Hook Up on the Mighty 1090. Uh, we're back here at NCS Ford, and Grant's just given me the results of the casting contest. David Dodge came in first with five. Wow. Bob Lehman in a four-way cast-off. Bob came in second. And third. No, that can't be true. That can't be true. Tom Shift is third. <laughs> wow, Tom, congratulations. You've been practicing. You've been practicing. Wow, fantastic. Ken Corwin, Ken's Custom Reels, thank you very much. Two hours goes by so fast. Thanks here. for having me. Yeah. It's always fun being on this program. Yeah, great to have you. And uh, if somebody wants to come down to Oceanside and see it, Ken's, how yeah. do we do it? Uh, right off the 5, Oceanside Harbor Drive. We're right down the hill in the harbor. However, don't come this weekend. They have a huge event in the harbor, a soccer, beach soccer event, and getting in and out will be an issue. So but the rest of the time, the rest come of the time, down. come on down, but don't come this weekend. Yeah, it may well, be a little you're bit gonna difficult. fight some traffic if you do. Yeah, so. for sure. All right, Ken, always a pleasure having you, and thank you for all your knowledge and the great things you do Thanks for, for anglers me. out there. Mark Wheeler, Encinitas Ford. Again, how do we find you here at Encinitas Ford? Well, right down our website. 
It's real hard to remember, www.encinitasford.com. Uh, we're on the corner of Encinitas Boulevard and El Camino Real. And remember that the Let's Talk hookup listeners, between now and the end of the month, We'll provide three years of uh, limited maintenance on your new Fords purchased at Encinitas Ford. So we're going to take care of you. We're anglers. We love the angling community and the, all the support that we get from Let's Talk Cookout. You bet. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate that. And take advantage of those Celephon weekend deals now. Unbelievable. I, I've never heard anything like I thought they were good before. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're, 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 I have to talk some shopping here for sure after the show. Thanks, Mark, for a great host. You're always a, a pleasure uh, hosting here at NCS Ford. And thanks again for everybody that came out. Thanks to, to Grant and Eddie for doing the casting contest. Thanks to Tommy P. and the Cowboy for their hard work. And, of course, Isaiah and Dick for the remote. And our buddy Adam in the studio there, My 1090. And the, and the, uh, the promo folks from Mighty 1092, thank you very much for coming down with the van today. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 7 to 9 a.m. Harold, Mike, and Steve from Captain Rollo's Kick to Sea. We'll be talking fishing tomorrow morning, 7 to 9, right back here on the Mighty 1090. We'll see you then. Hey, come on.